30 years ago this month, a murder in Central Park shocked the city, and it was soon the headline on tabloids across the country. The suspect, Robert Chambers, was dubbed the preppy killer. 48 hours, Richard Schlesinger has the story. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Chambers. Chambers. In August 1986, Robert Chambers made headlines for killing his friend Jennifer Levin in New York's Central Park. I didn't mean to hurt her. I liked her very much. He was handsome and privileged, and the press called him the preppy killer. But to police, he was just a 19-year-old kid with an unlikely story that seemed to blame the victim for her own killing. He's raping you in the park? He's having her wave with me without my consent. He always said he struck her to make her stop. Police never believed that story, and Chambers was charged with murder. He pled guilty to first-degree manslaughter and served 15 years in prison. When he was released, he gave his only interview to Troy Roberts of 48 Hours. I was responsible for her death. Okay. There is no question about that. You admitted guilt, but you did not intend to kill her. I don't believe I intended to kill her at all. Everything he said about how she died is absolutely untrue. She was frantically fighting for her life. Am I a monster? No. Because if I were a monster, I wouldn't care. But I do. The diploma from the paralegal course I had taken. Robert Chambers hoped he could put his life back together, but life didn't work out as he planned. 40 Hours Correspondent Richard Schlesinger joins us live here now. Richard, we see that last shot of Robert mm -hmm. Chambers right there. We see him yeah. in handcuffs once again. I know that prison term that he had was solitary well, confinement, he, lots of altercations with guards. Right. As long as he was, yeah. he was doing drugs while he was in prison. I mean, this is a guy who has struggled with drugs and his own demons for years. And, you know, after he got out of prison, the struggle didn't end. Um, and so we'll show you uh, what happened to him. Um, it's not a pretty story, yeah. um, but it's pretty, pretty amazing. Can you give us a little hint? We have well, to watch, of course. Let me just tell you, at, at one point, Troy Roberts asked him in, in this extraordinary interview he did with him, he said, and I wrote this down, he said, well, he, Chambers, he asked Chambers how he could be so dumb. And Chambers said, that seems to be a theme that runs through many of the things I do. And I'll just say that uh, time has shown that Robert Chambers knows himself very well. Yeah. Thank you. We look forward to watching the story. Sure. And you can catch Richard's story, The Preppy Killer, Saturday night, right here on CBS 2 at 10 o'clock.